Fans are already looking to land the first of this season's trophies, the Norwich Union Cup. Last night, the Wasps faced Peterborough Pirates in the second leg of the semi-final. Last week, the first match finished all square at 7-all, so there was everything to play for at a packed Riverside rink. Peterborough Pirates had the nerve to fire first, Grant Slater plundering an early lead. It must have seemed a good idea at the time, but in retrospect it wasn't. Durham launched a boarding party armed to the teeth, and within seconds they were level. Stephen Johnson. A swashbuckling solo goal from Rick Brabant gave them the lead. A mere 12 seconds later, another thrust from Stephen Johnson. Then a third within a minute. It's Brabant again, and the Pirates are shipping water. Todd Bidner tries to bail them out, stealing a goal back from under the keeper's nose, but he can't stem the tide. Durham raid again, and Anthony Johnson takes advantage of the power play. 5-2. Brabant is cutting through the enemy all the time. Here comes another broadside. It's six. Even the announcer can't keep up. Nine seconds later, another direct hit from Rick. 7-2 at the end of the period now. And the Pirates are sinking fast. They try to regroup. Kevin McCauley finds a way through. And that, amazingly, is the last blow Peterborough strike. Now Durham come pouring over the rails. Stephen Johnson strikes the next blow. Alongside him in the front line, it's brother Anthony, and another mortal wound. Even the Admiral wants a piece of the action. Coach Mike O'Connor chalks up the next, and with a short-handed crew. Back in the ranks, they're taking no prisoners. Either Bennett's into the breach, he falls, but not in vain. Brabant is still blazing away. This one's a goal from the moment he charges. 12-3, and the Pirates are looking for the white flag. Third period, and O'Connor's leading from the front again. Next, it's the turn of the new recruit, Dave Anderson. Still, the flogging continues. It's Brabant who delivers the next flash. No mercy yet. Anthony Johnson still wants blood. Take that, you slobs. He makes the final kill, too. 17-3, and the pirates are routed, cast adrift, looted and scuppered. I've never heard so many pirate puns in one report. Who was reporting? Oh, yes, Jolly Roger Thames. Time now for crime. What anyone else thinks. Take to the ice and there's uproar as usual. This season the national champions were supposed to find life a lot tougher. But now the Durham fans are laughing all the way to another cup final. In the closed season the Wasps lost the Cooper brothers. Ian and Stephen lured away to Cardiff. But the brilliant form of those that remained means two of Britain's outstanding young players haven't even been missed. The way Peterborough were annihilated proved nobody's discovered the Durham secret yet. There is no secret, just hard work. Uh, the lads are enjoying themselves, you know, we're doing a little bit away from hockey, uh, away from the rink, we're doing some training, uh, you know, uh, on Monday nights. You know, so it's good to get the guys together as well as uh, maintain a little bit of fitness, you know, so it, we're just enjoying our hockey at the moment. And we saw children, you know, youngsters on the ice there tonight, 16, 17, 15 year olds, and, uh, and that's where it comes from. You know, you can have the best imported Canadian players or Czechoslovakian or whatever you like in the country, but if you haven't got a backup, then you're not going anywhere. All I say to other clubs is, look what we're doing, we couldn't do it. Look to your youngsters. Don't go poaching from all other clubs. Bring your youngsters on. You lost the Coopers and everybody thought that could be quite a setback to you, but it looks as though that's just been swept aside. Well, I mean, we did, uh, in all fairness to the Coopers, uh, Stephen was a heck of a defenseman, he still is a heck of a defenseman. Uh, uh, but to our surprise, uh, young Wilkinson is, is filling in tremendously. John Hutley proved tonight that uh, he belongs. Mark Pallister, for a lad his, his age, you know, he's going to be uh, contributing regularly. If the key to Darren's success is local talent, let's not dismiss the imports. A double hat-trick by Rick Brabant underlined why the Wasps were so delighted to keep him for a second year. Last season, a string of imports hardly unpacked their bags. But Durham believe they've got it right first time in Dave Anderson. And of course, there's the coach himself, but he's really one of us these days. Two classy imports, two classy forwards. Rick, uh, his hunger and enthusiasm for the game is second to none. And Dave is a, is a very rugged player, as well as a heady player. And, and the two combined with Paul Smith, and, and no matter who you put on the ice, is formidable. You know, nobody can match them. Now, uh, you're already in one cup final, you're top of the league. I mean, is the aim this season to try and get a treble of the, of the cup, the league title and, and the playoffs? That's, that's what we have to go for, yeah. And is that realistic? Um, well, if the book is listening, it's going to be very, very difficult. 
But if the brokers aren't listening, we've got to do it.